welcome. Good morning, everybody. Good morning so far. <laughs> Daddy was awake very right? early. Okay, I know the um, fan is blowing, but we're working on the bottom, the larger fish row. Same thing as the bigger one, the only difference is the size. I mean, is a smaller one we did last week, the only difference is the size. So, this is what we did last week. You can see this one is going to be bigger, okay? But it's the same principles. We're going to make a snowball. And normally, We draw a line from one corner to the other corner, but because I have this great grid glide, I don't have. I hope you are enjoying this. I was a little bit off this morning, so all I'm going to do is set my corner piece up with my needle and keep the other corner on this. Not expecting my father to be. Just a little bit, making sure he was all set up. The joys of care of your parents. So each corner, we're going to do same Welcome. cross. I'm purposely going to put one of these fabrics the wrong way just to show you um, what happens if you don't pay attention to the print of the fabric if it's directional. See what I mean? This is only a sample, so it doesn't really matter. But I tried very, very hard to pay attention to that with foil. Not that it's a huge problem, but it can throw you off. Of Sorry about that. We had a little issue with the cameras. Okay, let's try that again. Oh. 
all we have to do is iron over the corners and trim up the excess on these. So as I was saying, normally my father doesn't be up that early. But it did throw me. I hope you're enjoying this steak, though. I really like. Like I said, I just opened a box of blue fabric. My bins. It started cutting up. Okay. So. Can you see, we have got this fabric going this way, this one's going this way. These two down here are going this way. Not that it probably will make a huge difference, but if you have directional fabric, pay attention to that. Um, it, it's probably going to be fine, but if it bothers you, you're okay. Nobody else will probably see it, but you will. So all I'm doing is cutting the bulk off of the corners. And I'm just eyeballing a quarter of an inch from, from the stitch line. Okay. Now we have to do the tail part, which is the same thing, except it's just two pieces. Make sure you do this corner to this corner. This one to this one, and then this one to this one, so we can put them same side. Okay. Now we're going to put them out. This is a really small but fun. This is probably about as scrappy as all looks cohesive or as I call it organized chaos. Real scrap. Just not in my makeup. Hey, now I'm going to put the excess on the corner. And We are going to sew the two pieces together. There you go. Now, if you want to make it easier for you, this small piece, if we iron these seams in, we will be able to find the system. Yes. Different uh, one set of seams are going in, and the other seams are going out. Now, when we put these together, 
seems to butt up against each other. Yeah. So together, now line up. Ever so over your pins, ever. I've seen too many things, bad things happen, not good things. All right, all I have to do now, iron. There you go. Now you can see the big difference in the two sizes. And on the next row, you don't have to, but you put the larger fish going in the opposite direction as the smaller fish. I hope you are enjoying today. I get to go to the shop and open up. First, I got to check on my father and see if he's still awake. I hope you have a great day, everybody. You know where I am if you need me. And if you need anything at all or would like to learn something new, let me know. Seriously thinking of doing the Alaska Rainbow Quilt as a quilt to all. Yes, I've been trying to get all of these organized, but this one, I really want to do it. And I think I can cut it up. All right, everybody, I got to go to work, so I hope you have a great day. You know where I am if you need me. Bye.